If you really want to make your podcast stand out in 2021, then recording with video is absolutely essential. However, many people are afraid that adding video makes the process much harder. That's why in this video, we're going to show you an easy way to record high quality video podcasts. With YouTube being the second biggest search engine on the planet and discoverability of audio podcasts being poor, video will be a distinct competitive advantage. Some of the best pods use video, but often they are in person. With platforms such as Riverside, we can now produce high quality video podcasts remotely. Let me show you how. First of all, get your gear set up. For a high quality video podcast, you should try to use the best podcast gear you can afford. For recording remotely, as most of us are in 2021, you can connect a DSLR camera to your computer using something called the Elgato CamLink. You can also try this $30 version from Amazon, which I'll be using in this very video. For DSLRs, as expected, there are a range of options at a range of different prices. I use the Lumix GH5, but there are some good options under $1,000, such as the Sony A6300. If you'd like to learn more about video gear, subscribe to the channel for upcoming videos. For your microphone, we've produced a ton of videos comparing the best options across a range of different budgets. Click in the top right hand corner to see our latest video on microphones. The mic I use most often is this Shure SM58, which is an XLR microphone that requires an interface to record. Alternatively, you can get a USB microphone like the Rode NT USB Mini or the Shure MV7. To set you apart from just having a nice camera, try and make your set look as nice as possible. To make a professional looking shot, you need to add as much depth as possible, which you can do with a few different techniques. Make sure there is some distance between you and the background. If this isn't possible because you have a small space, don't worry too much about it. Good lighting is essential for creating the depth, so try to get a large softbox which will give you a nice, soft and pleasing light. If you don't have a softbox, you're left with an unflattering image and harsh shadows. I use the Aperture 120D with Light Dome, but you can pick up a Godox SL120 for about $100 and another 50 bucks for a softbox. Put some interesting things in your background. As part of building your set, you can put various props that make your background distinctive. You can see in my background, I have a microphone on a stand, as this is a podcasting channel, plus a purple light strip that is the Riverside brand color. I don't see the light anymore in the background, or like the, the purple-ish oh. light. It's all right, I can do it. Don't you worry, Abel. <laughs> good point. <laughs> Got, got to be branded. Ah, no way. Here we go. So, so, no way. I didn't know. So you have an app on your phone and you use it as a remote control for the lighting. That's that's exactly. next level, man. That's next level. There we go. Cool. <laughs> I got in trouble there from Riverside's head of marketing for not being on brand with their... No, this with, looks with so much screen. better. But now <laughs> you're more on brand than I am. I also have a practical light in the corner, which just adds to the set. Finally, make sure there is no clutter. Often the background can get quite messy, as mine does. So make sure you spend five minutes making sure the background is clean and tidy. Now we've got our setup looking good, it's time to get the show started. Log into your riverside.fm dashboard and click new podcast. Check all your settings are correct and the gear is working well. Run a test of the podcast with a friend or co-host to make sure everything is working as you planned. Make sure they're using Chrome and click record when everything is ready. Once you've tested everything and you're happy with your setup, send the link to your guests or your co-hosts. A quick tip here, you can now automatically send a calendar link from Riverside to your guests so you don't have to worry about manually doing it. Before you start recording, preparation is key to make sure nothing goes wrong when it comes to recording day. I always create a shared document with my guests or my co-host which explains what to expect on the day, plus some light talking points for the structure of the episode. You've got all your gear set up, your guests are well prepared and now you're ready to record. Before you start recording, just check people are using the right microphone, they're on Chrome and adjust the levels if required. Once everything is checked, you're ready to go. A little tip, if you're a producer and not part of the recording, you can use producer mode and your video won't be captured. 
Now you've recorded your show, it's time to take your high quality video and audio files and get editing. Head to your dashboard and download the files. Organization is key here as you need to know where to find the files later. With your download and organized files, bring them into the editor of your choice. I use Final Cut Pro for my editing, but you can also use Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve or iMovie. For more videos on editing a video podcast, make sure you subscribe to the channel. A little tip, for a really well branded and distinctive video podcast, create a frame in a design software like Figma that uses the space that you'll lose when recording 16 by nine with two people. Once your files are in your editing software, make sure they are synced up and position the frame in a way you're happy with. Now you can get to work editing, adding music and other elements. The final step is to publish your episode. Now you finish your edit, it's time to get it published. There are a few podcast hosts that allow you to upload video podcasts directly to the podcast directories, but generally the best place to share the video of your show is on YouTube. You can then cut the clips to promote across social media. The benefit of video podcasts really comes to fruition when you can break it down into smaller clips and upload those clips to YouTube. The best podcasts stand out from the rest if they do this immensely well. I always use Joe Rogan as an example for this because he gets really impressive views across his videos on YouTube. Gary Vee does the same of repurposing a ton of his podcast content. So that's how you create a video podcast in 10 easy steps. To recap, get yourself some good gear to make your setup look nice. Build your set, create your show in riverside.fm. Test everything works correctly. Send a link to your guests or co-host. Put in your prep work, record your show, take the files from your Riverside dashboard, bring them into your video editor, then publish and promote. Whew, that was hard to say. A question for you. Have you created a video podcast? If so, leave a comment below with a link and we'll check it out. We're going to be producing a bunch more videos on this YouTube channel about podcasting, video interviews and more. So if you want to learn more about starting and growing a podcast, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss an episode. Thanks for watching.